better stop all of that right now. I know without a doubt in my mind that you were the one who called the reception hall and had our wedding canceled. What? <laughs> what could you possibly be talking about right now? I have no idea, Emmy. I just got a call from the reception hall about it. They told me that a female with the same last name as the groom called the reception hall and said that she wanted the wedding canceled but I went ahead and told them that it was not me. Oh my, oh my. You totally forgot about you calling them to cancel that wedding, did you? <laughs> so you were not only a moneyless loser, but you seem to have no brain in that head of yours, Emmy. Well, it's totally worth having that wedding canceled now. If you can't seem to control yourself. <laughs> what? You called them yourself to ask for the wedding to be canceled, right? Yet you went and forgot all about that and then started to blame me for being the one to call them? Could this mean you have a split personality or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want to become the sister-in-law of a woman with those problems. I think having the wedding canceled is the right move here. You are really trying so hard to hide the fact that you did this. Well, if you really want me to believe I did it myself, then so be it. At least you called the dummy reception hall that we set up for you, so it's not like the actual wedding will be affected at all. Huh? You wait just a second. What do you mean by the dummy reception hall? To tell you the truth now, we lied to you about the location of our wedding. We're really having it take place at a completely different location. What did you say? You've always been up to no good when it comes to me. So we had to act ahead of you. I mean, before it was that you canceled the reservations we had for the restaurant we planned on meeting you and your parents at. Then it was you canceling the reservation for us to go and have a look at some houses. So in order to be one step ahead of you this time, we set up a fake wedding and you took the bait. I cannot believe this. You lied to me in order to save your guy's wedding? Were you guys planning on never telling me the actual location of your wedding and just having me not show up to it? Me, the daughter of a CEO, me, who is the one whose father is the owner of a very powerful company? We weren't planning on not having you come or anything like that. We planned to tell you the real location of the wedding the day before, but seeing that you actually did fall for our trap and tried to cancel our wedding, your brother and I were totally right. Having set up a dummy wedding for you. You, you're the worst, the worst woman ever. Telling the daughter of a CEO, me, a lie like that? I didn't lie to you in order to mess with you or anything, right? I just wanted to make sure this wedding would be safe from your antics. And well, I'm happy we did end up making a plan for you. Oh, you freaking cheeky woman. I don't want you to ever be a part of my family. I cannot believe that my little brother is wanting to marry some moneyless woman like you. No matter what you try to do to save your wedding, I'm going to have it canceled. No matter what, it's looking more and more like a good idea to me to keep the actual wedding's location a secret from you. Shut up. Don't talk back to me like that, you poor loser. I know that you only want to be a part of my family in order to get to my family's assets. I do not want some sly woman like you in my family. Taking all that we've worked so hard for, no matter what you do, that wedding is not going to happen. I'll make sure of it. I hope you aren't set on having a future being married to a wealthy man. I just saw your text. Never would have thought my sister would actually take the bait and try to have our wedding canceled like that. But luckily we did set up that dummy so our wedding is still in the clear. However, we really need to start thinking about what to do with your sister. I didn't actually think that she'd be this against the two of us getting married. I'm shocked by how far she's going myself. She really did it this time. Trying to cancel what's going to be the happiest day of our lives? 
Do you know why she's so against me and you getting married though? I get that the family I come from is average compared to your family, Matthew, but she keeps treating me horribly because she thinks I'm without any money. There has to be another reason behind why she doesn't want me to marry you. Do you think I upset her in some way a while back and never noticed any of it? No, I don't think there was any other reason for her craziness right now. She just doesn't like the fact that you're going to marry me. You haven't done anything wrong, Emmy, so don't worry about it. What? So she just doesn't like me then? So she doesn't like me marrying you? And that's what's driven her to do all of this insane crap? I'm sure you've already noticed this about her, but Cherry's pride is very high. She's been the daughter of a CEO ever since she was born, and has been treated to pretty much everything because of it. And because of that upbringing, she always looked down on those around her, finding that her own family will always be better than everyone else. Because of that, my dad has chosen to give up on her completely. What? My dad has already told me his plans regarding her. He said that he's going to end up giving his company to me when he retires. But when she found out about that, she flipped. I guess she just assumed that she'd be getting the company without having to show anything for it and would be able to live her fabulous life forever. That is probably another reason why she doesn't want us getting married. She probably doesn't want you getting part of the money I receive as CEO when you're my wife. So she's been trying to get you out of the family. What the heck? So really, it's just her that cares about the money and your family assets. And I'm sure she's pretty pissed about the fact that she'll never get to become a CEO of the company my dad has. And once you're my wife, she'll probably no longer be allowed to do all the things she wants, because my mom and dad will be focused on us. She's pretty much going to lose her ability to be spoiled by the family's money, and she is not fond of that at all. And so she's going to all lengths to try and get our wedding and marriage cancelled. Well, I guess I understand now. Now there's at least some reasoning behind her madness. My dad was always thinking of still having my sister become a part of his company. She might be a total witch, but she's not stupid. But every day her pride just continues to grow. And it's not worth it anymore for my dad to do anything with her. The fact that she thinks she's better than everyone else for no good reason has really put my dad off ever wanting anything to do with her. He can tell that if he puts Cherry in charge of anything within his company, the place would fall apart in a day. Well, nobody is going to want to work for or with someone who is going to constantly belittle them. Having her be in any leadership positions, there would definitely be trouble. I'm sure that even she knows that she would never actually be able to handle the responsibilities. Especially after she's done things like this to you. Just know that there is no way our wedding is going to be cancelled by her. But we're still going to have to watch over things just to make sure. I sure hope this wedding doesn't get harmed by her. She's like some kind of wild cat with claws that keep on going. Every time she feels that her future of luxury and money is being threatened. I think once the wedding is over, she's going to give up once and for all. So, although I'm sure this is causing you a lot of worry, can you just deal with her a little more? We're just going to have to make it to the wedding, and after that, things will be alright. Well, we only have a month left before the wedding, right? As long as she doesn't find out about the true location of our wedding, everything's going to be fine on my end. Let's make sure this wedding goes perfectly, alright? Do you see what happens now? I think this means your wedding is canceled now. I mean, you're the bride, but you're all covered in that dark red wine now. <laughs> that beautiful white wedding dress of yours is completely covered in it. What the hell do you think you're doing, Cherry? Do you have any idea what you just did to me? Pouring wine all over me from behind like that? Well, it's your fault for never telling me about your actual wedding plans until the last minute. Had you just told me that, we would never have come to this point we're at now. Ha ha ha! Do you really want our wedding to be canceled that badly? Even if 
you're able to cancel this wedding, it's not going to increase your chance of getting the company from your dad anymore. Shut the hell up, you moneyless witch. I am never going to give up on getting my dad's company. The company, the money it has, and all the other assets from it are going to be mine because I'm my dad's first child. <laughs> so to me, a woman like you coming into the wedding with my brother is nothing more than an obstacle, ha! Excuse me? My dad has been saying he plans on giving the company to Matthew, but I think there's still time. A man that's been slighted by his older sister is never going to run a company. So I've been making plans all along to make sure the company falls back into my hands. I have to make sure that you and him don't get married because if you were to become a part of my family and then started to have kids, both of my parents would fall for their grandbabies and would never turn around and let me have the company ever again. So that's why I'm going all out to make sure you never marry Matthew. So that's your reasoning behind all of this then? You poured wine all over me because of your future? I find that moneyless lowlives like you look great covered in red sticky wine. <laughs> and actually, I think that once my dad sees how you look right now, he'll be on the same page as me. He would never want a disgusting woman like you to become a part of his great and wealthy family. <laughs> huh? Go ahead and cry about it, you baby. <laughs> I loved the look on your face after I drenched you in wine. <laughs> Thinking of how much it looks like you wanted to cry makes me laugh my butt off. You are the worst, and I mean that. Get your laughs in now for all of the rude things you've done to me because after today, you won't be laughing anymore. Stop it with all that talking and hurry up and cancel this wedding. I want a poor loser like you out of my life forever. You can't have a wedding anymore when you're covered in wine from head to toe. <laughs> then I guess this wedding is canceled. And once you've done that, never come around my family again. I want you to promise me that you'll stay away from my family and our money forever. I don't really care about all of that, but are you sure that you're okay with this? You're going to be losing your dad, one of his biggest customers, if this wedding is canceled. And once that's happened, who knows what's going to happen to his company. What? I think you should hurry up and go take a look at your parents' faces right now. Both of them look like ghosts right now and on the brink of collapsing. So white that the color of all of this wine on my dress really pops when standing next to them. Wait a second. What kind of customer are you talking about? What? You're nothing more than an average person, right? which means all you work are like three part-time jobs or something to stay afloat, right? What? You had said that yourself before, right? You were talking about how back when you were in college, you had to pay for the costs all by yourself and that you required you to work so many jobs. And you were talking about how much of a failure your parents are because they were never able to save up any money for your education. <laughs> and about how those two being your parents really ruined your life and turned you into a low life. <laughs> My parents happen to both be very amazing people. They both love to take on large challenges and even have started businesses overseas. They aren't really known for having any companies here in the States, but overseas, they have quite a few large ones. And I happen to be their daughter. So just like you, I happen to be the daughter of a couple of CEOs. What? For as long as I can remember, I was living overseas all my life as a young girl. But once it was time for high school, I came back to the States to go somewhere here. And while I was here, back in the US by myself, I got asked to do something by my parents. They said if I planned on going to college in the US, that I'd have to pay for it all by myself. Well, they covered some of my tuition. But besides that, I was on my own. They wanted to see just how well I could handle myself when challenged with having to be my only supporting pillar. What? 
And after a while of being on my own, I was able to get the hang of life and work for whatever money I needed. That's why I was talking about how in college, I had to pay for everything myself. And that's why I was having to work so many part-time jobs. So that's what was going on? But of course, as a student, you can really only make so much for yourself. So for a while, I did have to struggle a bit with choosing what I could and couldn't afford. But when I think back on all of that, the experience I gained was really worth it. I was able to learn how to manage my life with just a little bit of money I earned. And I don't think you should be making fun of me for gaining that kind of experience. If anything, you should be respecting me for going through something like that and making it out okay. Oh crap. My mom and dad are looking for me right now. You just told me they were both ghostly white. But right now they're as red as lobsters. I can tell that they're really, really pissed off. I'm sure they are. You went ahead and poured wine all over the bride on her wedding day. And this wasn't just about marrying your brother, but about the talks I had with your dad on a business level. I think it's only fair that everyone involved in those talks would be pissed at you. But, but, but I didn't know you were this kind of person back when I did all that. So this was just bound to happen. Go ahead and make up all kinds of excuses for it. I'd like you to go and tell your dad all of them right now. I'm going to go now. And just as you would have wanted, this wedding is being canceled. Please help me, Emmy. Do something to get my dad to stop being so upset with me. What was that? What's happened to you? Did all of those excuses you have not work out so well? He didn't listen to a thing I said and slapped me three times across my face. He has never touched me before like that. My face is super swollen now and it really stings. Wow, so he's a lot more mad than I thought. This is all horrible. He told me that he had planned to talk at the wedding about how my brother would be the next CEO of his company. He had a lot of bigwigs from his company there at the wedding to hear about the news. He wanted this wedding to double as a party for the news about Matthew becoming the next confirmed CEO. Wow, it's not right. But now he's blaming me for the whole thing crumbling into shambles. And that I'm the cause for what will soon be a huge mess that he has to clean up regarding the company. And he's told me that I've embarrassed the whole family. And now that I think about it, there were around 200 people joining us for the wedding. And most of those people there happen to be a lot of the people we know from work. And those that are currently working for your dad. My dad slapped me with all his strength, Emmy. He wants me to leave his family now. He told me he doesn't even see me as his daughter anymore. So I'm to leave the house. Really? So your dad is cutting ties to you now? He is. I tried to apologize to him so many times now, but no matter how much I try, he's not going to listen to me. He's even told me he's done giving me any money and that I'm to get my own money. I'm going to be kicked out of the house right now and will be forced to live on my own. And he doesn't want me ever coming around the family again. You've always been feeding off the money that your dad's given you, right? Life's going to be pretty difficult now without any money going to you anymore. You think that my life is going to only become difficult now? I won't be getting anything from them anymore. So life is impossible for me now. I can't live without someone giving me money. But you can live in an impossible state. You just have to try is all, and then I'm sure you'll find some way to carry on. Right? I don't want to try though. I want you to go and make things right for me with my dad. If you can do that for me, then I'll be kind with you from now on. I'll even allow you to marry Matthew. What? We won't be just sister-in-laws then, but actual sisters. We already are that way, right? Sisters? You would never want your older sisters to go through all this crap like I am now, right? So, as my little sister, go and do something to make sure I'm saved. 
You do think of me as your sister, right? You've always been an only child, which means you have been dying to have a sister of any kind. If you help me out with this, then I'll be your older sister forever. I don't need some scummy older sister like you, so no thanks. What? And I don't feel bad for you at all, actually. So please stop trying to get me to help you with your struggle. Do you have any idea what terrible things you've just said to your older sister? I'm trying so hard to get someone to help me out here. And I've even said I'll be nice to you from now on. And you're still going to fight back? If you think that Emmy is fighting back at you for what you've done to her, after calling her such horrible things, then you really are a monster of a woman. You have no right to be asking anyone for help after what you did to her at the wedding yesterday. You ruined that wedding of ours and still haven't seemed to realize that yet. What? Wait. Is that you, Matthew? Do you have Emmy's phone now? I'm asking you to please just leave Emmy and I alone, alright? I'm going to be getting the company from Dad very soon, and once that happens, there will be no place in this family for you. Wait a sec. Why are you not on my side in all this? You're my little brother. Well, if you wanted me to side with you, you should have acted like a grown-up. What? Your pride has grown too big for your own good, and it's made living with you as your sibling hell. You always acted like everyone around us was horrible while trying to be kind to me. But it always had the opposite effect, leading up to you ruining my wedding with the woman I love. I was really hoping that you would get along with her, because I wanted to make her my wife. But you never came around to her, and that pushed me to my limits. What? On the most important day of my life, you poured wine all over the most important woman of my life. I don't care how long I've been your family. I'm not forgiving you over that. Now that I'm next in line to become the CEO, I'm going to make sure I do everything in my power to keep you away from us. I'm going to get rid of the horrible influence that's been tarnishing my family's name once and for all. What? Wait a second. Matthew. What the hell has happened to you? You were never the kind of boy that would say such scary things as that to me. I told you. I have to get rid of the bad influence in my family. In order to do that, I need to change into a real man. The man my family needs. The man that has to be here to protect his wife who's been hurt. I've had enough of you, Cherry. No way. This is not just dad kicking you out of the family, but everyone. We're all finished with your BS and are cutting ties with you. Never, ever, ever come around us again. But that's not going to be good for me. I've never worked a job in my life and you know that. And I've just been trying to live off the money dad makes with his company. Please don't do anything besides cutting ties to me and ending the money you give me. Then you get your butt over to us right now and apologize in person. You come tell us just how sorry you really are after ruining our wedding. If you want to be forgiven for all your sins, then you're going to have to start by begging. I want you on your hands and knees begging us for forgiveness after pouring wine all over my wife's head and dress. What? Although I'm sure you of all people will never be able to understand what I'm asking for. You probably have no idea what trouble you've just caused for your whole family yesterday. But... But you're asking me to get on my hands and knees? All because I poured some wine on her? I never said I was going to force you to come here. I'm just saying that if you don't come over here right now begging for our forgiveness, then we are done with you. What? Honestly, I'm starting to think it's better not to forgive you. I'd actually like to see you struggle for the rest of your life after what you've done. I want you to turn out like Emmy, after having to go through a difficult time in life that makes you fend for yourself. Do your best with that new life you have coming, Cherry. I promise I'll be doing my best as the next CEO of Dad's company.
After that, I'm not sure if it was her pride getting the best of her or not, but Cherry never came to us to apologize and beg, and she eventually did end up getting kicked out of her parents' house and forced into a small apartment downtown where she's begun living on her own. But, of course, never having learned how to take care of herself, she's had trouble finding a part-time job where she can actually last more than a couple of days. So, because of that, she's had a really rough time getting back on her own two feet. However, I'm thinking that someday, she will be able to learn her way around and become a better adult from it. As for Matthew and myself, I had managed to have a spare dress prepared for me in case any sort of damage occurred to the main dress. So all I had to do was grab that backup dress and wear it to my wedding, which had been put back on. But before getting the wedding started again, we made sure to not let Cherry get any word of it. So we made sure everyone didn't post or say anything about it online to keep her away. I really hope that by having her excluded from the rest of her family and the company now, she'll learn that everything she did was wrong. And hopefully, if and when that day comes around, she's supporting herself well enough that she never has to make an attempt to come back.